Hey folks, it's Evan here at El Dorado RV. Today I'm going to take you through this amazing 2018 Forest River Berkshire uh, 34 QS diesel pusher. Let's go have a look. Okay, here we are. The 2018 Forest River Berkshire 34 QS in painted rock. That's the name of this full body paint, which they did four clear coats on. From factory, it came clear coated four times. So that's why, even though it's five coming on six years old it looks immaculate got that big one-piece front windshield a carefree door awning carefree slide toppers and a carefree uh, armless free you know it's a free floating awning up there um, got an 8,000 watt Onan generator on a slide out up here We've got the top mounted mirrors with side cameras. That nice lit up Forest River logo there. You got a 100 gallon diesel tank with dual fuel fill. So there's one on this side, one on the other side. So you can either fill it, fill it at the same time or you can fill it uh, no matter which way you pull into the, into the gas station. 22.5 inch wheels really nice there. I've got all the compartments open so we can talk about that. So first off, all the compartments are steel. So this chassis, it's a custom chassis and all the compartments are steel and it's a one piece side skirt. So A, that means you get way better strength, but B, that means you get way more storage, like weight capacity because all the bottoms are steel instead of rotocast plastic. So that's a big benefit. Um, this one's got a huge slide that you can pull out of either side. And there is 130 cubic feet of storage space in this basement. That's a lot of storage space. Got your fresh water here and service access there. This one is your outdoor entertainment. Got your outside TV there. Flip that down and away it goes. 22.5 inch wheels in the rear as well. Here we've got your coach batteries. Nice and tucked away in their own compartment. We've got your auto level hydraulic fluid there. Nice service access. And you can see all the, the one piece steel side skirt build. Some more storage in the back here. Then we've got your on-demand water heater. This ladder with an extension, so this piece, this whole piece comes off right to up there. And you tuck that away. Big service access panels in the back. That's one of the biggest benefits to a rear-engined diesel motor home. Uh, this is the 6.7 liter Cummins. So that's 360 horsepower and 800 uh, pound-feet of torque. And it is a, uh, an Allison transmission. So this thing drives amazing. Come around the back here. You can see how far that fiberglass cap goes around the corner here. So it looks fantastic. On that topic, you got a vacuum bonded laminated fiberglass roof, vacuum bonded laminated fiberglass walls. That also includes your slide out walls and slide floors. The floor inside is vacuum bonded and laminated with a tubular aluminum frame. Um, and all the walls and floors are high density block, block foam, block foam, excuse me, insulated. So really high quality stuff here. There's your chassis batteries and the disconnect switch. Then in here, don't mind the dust. We've got your, uh, your inverter and all your electrical right in here. And then the cable's going out there. It's a 50 amp service because we've got dual AC, of course. This is a 13 gallon, I believe, uh, DEF tank on driver's side, so easy access. And as we continue, 
Uh, I can't open this compartment because I've got this pole here, but I did open it earlier so I could show it to you. That's your water system, so your water filter and everything like that. Here's your water system. So it's all in here. Very, very nicely organized. You got your water filter, your sewer, you got your furnace over here, a nice Berkshire lettering, propane tank right there. And then up here, we've got again that fuel fill and uh, fuses. You've got an air truck up here, so if you need to fill your tires or whatever you need to use air for, you've got that up here. And that's it for the outside. So now I'm gonna close up all the compartments. We're gonna head on inside. We're gonna talk about all the fancy stuff going on in there. Okay, here we are. So I've got all the blinds closed so we can see it in its homiest state. A little peek at the living room there. We've got separate MCD rollers here and here. And then you've got a blackout shade and a sunshade there. Um, now these, both this blackout shade and the sunshade on the other side come down about halfway when the engine is on. So you do get some, some sun blockage there. Got these defroster fans you can point wherever you like um, then we've got the chassis stuff we're going to talk about that a little bit later right now let's focus on this beautiful coach so first thing i'm going to do when i come inside and want to get comfy is i'm going to close this step cover nice now no one's going to fall down the steps I can talk about a couple things here. We're gonna talk about this control panel. So that's for your awnings and your entry step. It's all right there. You can reach that from outside. Then, as you come inside and you look to the left, we've got your master light switch that turns literally everything off, except for your exterior and your cargo. Flip that on. And like I said, there's your, there's your aisle light. Uh, this is your main battery disconnect so i flip that and everything turns off inside that's for your whoops it's for your coach batteries you got a recliner footrest there really comfortable cockpit area to be in we got a tv up there some lovely storage uh, there is map lights so you can flip those on on both sides and then you got the speakers up there as well. Again, tons of storage up in these front spaces here. Here we are. Here's all the manufacturer info, all that fun stuff. Now let's turn our attention to the living area. So we've got your trifold sofa here, really comfy couch three windows all of them have both uh sun shades like so and blackout shades and we've got reading lights in here gets really cozy and there's this fun little button up here that says theater lighting on it and i press that turns them off but then it's got three levels of dimming. So that's one, that's two, and that's the max brightness. Then we've got your dinette, which also turns into a bed. Uh, that cushion gets tucked away in the closet. We've got more light controls over here, reading lights. That's for the ones at the top of the slide. And this really nice warm decor light. I actually love that light. Gets really cozy in there. We've got plenty of storage up above the dinette. Move on to the kitchen. We've got solid surface countertops. Oh, wait, I better not miss this. There's your TV, your sound bar, fireplace, and all your fancy TV watching stuff. 
easy connections in there. Boom, just like that. And the storage above the sofa. Now, back to the kitchen. So we've got tons of drawers, solid surface countertops with this really nice big two-piece undermounted stainless sink. Now that thing is deep, like crazy deep. You could fit a turkey pan in there. Nice cabinetry. Really nice hardwood. Uh, same with the slide fascias, those are all hardwood. Nice movable shelving in there. We got a convection microwave. Here's the controls for your max air fan, which is up there. And the controls for the lights in here. There we go, that looks a little better. Solid surface covers for your stove, which is a three burner. Huge drawers the whole way down. You know, huge drawers and plenty of them. Then you got your fridge. And yes, this is a residential fridge. So that's part of the reason that there is an inverter on this unit is because it came with a residential fridge as a standard. Then we've got your nice hallway here, your bathroom, the porcelain foot flush toilet, big circular shower with a tall skylight. I mean, someone who's like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six could probably stand in there, no problem. I'm not, so I can't demonstrate. Then you've got these nice vanity lights up here. Hang on, let me turn them on. Vanity lights, medicine cabinet, humongous cabinet back there. So that would work really well as like a linen closet because you don't really get a linen closet in most motorhomes. So instead of taking up your wardrobe space, you got one right there. Got your fan up there. A little bit of drawer storage here and some under sink storage as well. And there is a towel bar right here, as well as this hanger up here. So you got your robe and you got your towel. Now, one other thing I missed up here is that we've got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump. And then in the rear is a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, then we've got a single furnace on this one which I will put the spec up on screen. Light controls for the bedroom here. And like that, let there be light. So we've got this huge wardrobe here with a nice window, plenty of drawer space. I mean, this is a whole dresser really, bigger than my dresser at home. Some storage back here. And then your TV just swings right out of the way. So you can stick whatever you want back there, DVD player or what have you. Then over here, we've got your washer dryer prep. Nice, big, big, big storage. Uh, the shelves are all removable, of course. So as you can see, there's actually some hanging space up there. So you can take all of this out and, uh, oh, I found an umbrella. You can have that. So you can take the shelves out and use it as hanging space. Then we've got your wardrobe over here. So you got two sliding glass doors with mirrors, hanging rod. There is the middle cushion for your dinette. There's your big old manual box. And that is a, uh, a vacuum, a little handheld vacuum cleaner. Then we've got these things called slide slickers. So if you haven't heard of these, I'm gonna put a link on screen right about now to take you to a video to talk about why those are so cool. But Maybe you should wait till the end before you watch that. Uh, those protect your floor in the case of like a little pebble or something getting stuck in the rollers underneath your slide. So they're super, super handy. Um, really nice to have. And you better watch your step here because there is a little bit of a step up there. We've got your bed. Whoa. With a bit of storage underneath. Oh, there we go. And it lifts up like super high. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. A little bit of storage underneath, some service access and what have you. And let me put that down. Oh, nice and gentle. Now that is a king, full-size king, residential. On either side, we've got these nice little tables with 12 volt plugs here and 
some little storage cubbies with just a notch cut in for a handle so you're not banging your knee when you're getting into bed. Really thoughtful, actually. Got this nice headboard, it's very plush. And then of course we got reading lights up here as well. And shades and blackouts. It's all there and both of these windows open so you can get a really nice cross breeze, you know. Overnight, you uh, turn your max air fan on, open your windows and it'll get really cool in here. So, that's pretty much it for the interior. There's a bunch of stuff that uh, I'm sure I missed because I didn't sell these new. So I'm gonna put a bunch of specs on the screen and in the description. So if you have any questions, you can read that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna run you down all of this fun stuff. Let's go to it now. Okay, so it's a little tight in here, so I'm gonna have to do this handheld. So it might get a little shaky, but here we are. I've got the shades opened up. So you can see that massive, massive window, huge visibility. That top mounted mirror is awesome. All you can see right now is the slide, but when it slides closed, you get a really good view. So let's start here. We've got your steering wheel because this is on the Freightliner. So it says Freightliner over here. We've got your cruise. You got your turn signals, which oh, as you see here, enables that side camera. Here we've got your, oops, odometer or your speedometer. So that's in miles per hour, but then there is kilometers per hour on the inner circle. We've got your diesel, uh, tank, RPMs, battery voltage, all your, you got your whole Christmas tree here of lights. And this is your, uh, your kind of main chassis control center. So you, it makes you go through this checklist every time you turn it on, which is really nice. You can't forget anything, anything that's built in anyways. And then you can go through this. And once you get through that, you have access to the full menu. That's your odometer and generator hours and whatnot. Um, here we've got your air brake information. So it's right there where you can see it nice and bright. And over here, we've got uh, headlights, um, fog lights, all that, and your interior lights. Uh, are here as well. So you've got, that's what the bright versus dim switches are for. I shut that off. Again, fog lights. Here's your mirrors with your mirror heat control. Um, your parking brake, your transmission controls right here. And then we've got your auto level. Uh, now there's also a 12 volt socket there. So whatever you want to put there, you can put there. And of course we got your key there gas, brake, and this one over here is for your steering wheel, which is very maneuverable. Well, let's see if I can do it with one hand, but it's also telescoping, so it comes up and down. Um, we've got oil pressure on this side, oil temperature right there, or sorry, coolant temperature there, wiper controls, engine brake. This is for those shades I was talking about earlier. There's your sunshade and then your nightshade. Oops, got a little stuck together there. Auxiliary start, so that's for if your chassis batteries are dead, you need to pull some power from the coach batteries to get her going. Then we got your radio situation here. So all that fun stuff, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Down here, we've got your fans. So they've got a low mode and a high mode. And man, do they go. They move a lot of air. Then we've got, so this switches your horn between your horn, your little beep beep horn, and your air horn. Wah. This radio switch, that's for where your radio pulls power from. So that's either up here, uh, your chassis batteries, or back there, your coach batteries. So if your chassis is off and you want to listen to the radio, you flip that into the down position and it pulls power from your coach batteries. Then generator start. So you, of course you hold this prime it bah, 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 and now you hold start and away it goes got your step your step cover 
your uh, climate control, AC on, recirculate, yada yada, the usual. Um, then we've got a 12 volt, or sorry, a USB plug here. And your cup holder, and a little storage compartment there. Um, and that's pretty much it for up here. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea of what's going on in this unit. Now, this is a fantastic motorhome. It's not too big, but you get tons of space. And there is loads of features. There's loads of stuff that I missed. So make sure you check the description. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I've got my email down there, so I'm available. Come on down to El Dorado RV and check it out.